Well, hi. I've got some great uh, information for you today if you have Facebook. What we're going to be learning how to do today is activating the timeline feature, which is going to be rolled out as a regular feature of Facebook next week on October 5th. Uh, but there is a way of getting into it right now so you can take a look at it. It might be a little bit buggy from here to there, but uh, you'll at least be able to take a look at this interface of uh, how your profile is going to look to everybody who uh, visits your Facebook profile. First thing you want to do is to log into your Facebook page, of course. Now if you go into the search bar and you put in developer, you'll see a developer app uh, pop up. Now you want to create an app. Uh, press up in there. It'll ask you for the, uh, the display name uh, plus the namespace. So just put in like test app one and uh, then go into namespace and just type in as many letters as you need. Da, 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 da. Uh, you need at least eight characters uh, in that. And uh, you want a checkbox that I agree to the platform privacy um, section there. Uh, it'll give you a CAPTCHA here, uh, put in those letters, and then hit Submit. And this will start your, uh, your application here. Now, you want to go to Apps, hit Apps on that. And underneath there it says to uh, get started on Open Graph. Click on that. And uh, basically you'll just want to put that uh, people can like view, and they'll say view, and then uh, uh, a movie here. Now, if you go back to your Facebook page now, you'll notice on the top of the Facebook page, there's this uh, uh, introducing timeline. Uh, just say, uh, get it now, click on get it now, and it will show you the new timeline app. 